Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a question on finding the second largest number in the list. So the first thing I want to do here is, you know, always want to understand the problem. It's pretty straightforward, but I'm just going to write down, um, you know, understanding the problem and the logic, and then we'll get into the coding. So the first thing I want to do is, you know, identify the second uh, largest number. I understand that's going to be nine. And then I'm going to want to think, you know, how am I going to get to that second largest number? So um, how will I be able to to get to that second largest? Second largest number. I'm going to be using a for loop to go through our given list. All right. Next, I'm going to be thinking, so if I need to get, you know, the second largest number, I need to know what our largest number is, right? So I'm going to have to keep track of our largest number, you know, to get to get the second largest number. So I have to keep track, you know, of those two. So I'm going to be using uh, variables. And then I am going to, this is where the logic comes in. You know, I'm going to have to do, you know, com comparison of numbers to get uh, the second largest. And this is going to be you doing, you know, conditional conditional statements. You know, if LF else, you know, those are uh, examples of conditional statements. And I will leave links in the bottom of this video that will go more in depth. Um, you can click on a link and I'll go more in depth of, you know, what for loops are, variables, and conditional statements. If you're new to programming and need some review, I do that for all my videos so that people can have an easy reference to them. And to learn more, it's, it's nice just to click and, and see what, what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I need to keep track of my largest number and my second largest number. So to keep track, you're going to have to here create a variable for that. So I need a largest number. I'm going to set that equal to zero and I'm going to need a, you know, second largest number. And I'm going to set that equal to zero as well. So we're setting those to zero and then I need to basically go through our given list, right? I'm going to copy this put this down here for us. So I'm going to have to be able to iterate and go through this list. And to do that, we're going to be using a for loop. So for i in range, the length of our given list nums. This nums is referencing this, right? So I'm here going to have to do my if condition. So if where we're at in our list, so if nums i is greater than our largest number, so let's start off with that. So if one, if one is greater than zero, then that means that one is our largest number and currently our second largest number is going to be zero, right? So we're going to set our second largest number is going to be equal to our largest number. So this right now is going to be zero, right? And then our largest number is going to be wherever we're at in our list. This is going to be one. So we're here. I'll move this over here. Oops. I'll move this over here. One, is it greater than zero? Yes. 
our second largest number becomes our largest number and our largest number now becomes where we're at in our list which was one so i'm going to continue to go through and then we're going to just do the rest of the logic but i just want to continue to go so we're going to now go to nums i which is three is that greater than what our largest number is at currently well let's take a look at what our largest number is our largest number is one uh, yeah, that, that is greater. So is it greater than one? That's true. So then we update our second largest number. That becomes now one. This becomes three. Great. Now let's go to the next number in our list. Nums i is now four. Is four greater than our largest number that we currently are holding, which is three? Yup, that's true. And then let's update, well, our second largest number now, you guessed it right, becomes three. And our largest number now becomes four. We're continuing to go. Is 11 greater than our largest number? So we're here in our list. Yes, it is. All right. Is it greater than four? It really is. So this is going to be updated to 11, right? And then our second largest number is going to be updated to four. All right. And then let's see where we're at with nums i. We are at nine now. Is nine greater than 11? This is false. So this if statement is not true. So we're going to write our al if statement. So if this condition is not true, we're going to jump to here else if, you know, but it's elif, right? So elif, where we're at in nums i. So we're here. If that is greater than whatever our second largest number is, which, you know, we currently have as four, then what we want to do is we want to set our second largest. So let's do it. So it's nine greater than four. Well, that's true, right? We know that's true. Then our second largest number now equals nums i. And nums i is nine. And then after that, we're just going to simply return our second largest number. All right, let's run that. And yep, it is correct our second largest number is nine. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer. Thank you so much.